All right. I have Yalitza on my right hand side and Christina on my left and Leona flanking me at my left. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I'm so thrilled both of you are able to be here with me this evening at this prestigious ceremony. You know, Christina Hartman is a student in the Masters of Fine Arts program at Vermont College of Fine Arts. Yelitsa Nuccio is founder of Tactile Communications. So thrilled to have you both here. Leona Godin, thank you also for joining. Leona is a scholar, a performer, and author of Their Plant Eyes. We also have co-navigator and voice interpreter, Halene Anderson, and Iko and Maria joining as well. Maria, come on out, let me feel you. <laughs> Fantastic, thanks for being here tonight. Maria Becerra. All right. We have gathered here this evening all together. We have made a journey. But I want to ask both of you, Yelitsa and Christina, I've heard that a crowd has gathered among us. But let me ask you, how do we know the crowd is here? How do we know there are others in our midst? We don't. We can't feel them, certainly. Can we? How could you make yourselves felt? Stomp, folks, stomp. Let's see, can you make yourselves felt? Can you shake up the structure? <laughs> okay, thank you. So that stomping, that will not be the first time you stomp this evening, I hope. We can all find ways, all find ways to shake things up. So when I stomp this evening, I invite you all to stomp along with me. And tonight, I'm going to be sharing in spoken protactile, a movement of the moment. OK? So again, when you see us stomp, you hear us stomp. You can't feel a stomp, maybe, but you can feel stomping when you all participate by stomping, OK? So we can share in the reverberations, OK? So when I stomp, you stomp. Yes, OK. Now, Christina, I would like to inquire into how you came to be here this evening. From Pennsylvania, it was a, a bit of a journey, a hop skip, OK? And do you, tell us how you got to be here. What was your method of transport? And Christina says, OK, give me a hand shaped like a, a C or a cup. What I did was I took this C that is like the shape of my protactile name. And my protactile name goes around in a circle. And then a precise dot, exacting, is my protactile name translated. And I started off with a cup of coffee that was round like my name. And I drank it to the bottom, to the point at the bottom. So John says, yes, fantastic. So playing with language, that's what we do. And moving from sometimes an English letter to a shape, to a form, to a translation into another form. So Christina, you started with that drip, that last drip of coffee, that point in the center of the sea circular cup. And you circled above on the plane in route around, swirling, sweeping over, <laughs> over countryside, over hill, over mountain. And you know, below you, as you approached the tarmac, in a crack was a bud. It was a shoot, really. It was something winding its way toward the sun. In the wind, it was blown. 
It shook. It shivered. As you circled above, as you neared in the metal bird, that single bloom opened and the nose of the metal bird touched down just in the cup, held in the cup aloft. And you, Christina, jumped to the edge, <laughs> hung on, and descended to the ramp <laughs> where you stomped your first stomp and descended upon New York City. Yelitsa Nuccio, I put my hands on my hips because you, my dear, you were late. <laughs> Christina and I arrived early, okay? We came in right around 11, 11.30, and we've been sweating and fretting, not knowing where is our third, where is our third we, Yelitsa. And Yelitsa says, well, I was on the other side of the country. I started against the Pacific while you were already here at the Atlantic side. So I put my hands on my hips because you made me travel the furthest, John. <laughs> John says, no, no, okay. Still, though, I understand why you were the latest to arrive. Because your protactile name, Yelitsa, is Sun Within. So you didn't have a simple, straightforward, linear journey across the country. In fact, you leaped through space. You rocketed up through the atmosphere into cold, cold black space. You felt the vibrations. And then there was not just the Earth below you. There were other planets spinning, other planets spinning, sun within sun, sun tangled in sun. You approached Venus. V, E, N, U, S. You gave it a whiff, and you moved on immediately. Not interested in staying, you moved on to a warmer planet, to Mercury, spinning M-E-R-C-U-R-Y. And you put a finger to hot Mercury. Mercury still didn't satisfy your thirst for the universe, Yelitsa. So you ventured further into stars, into star dust, until you felt your own molecules, your own structure start to shake and shimmy in space, start to dissolve and blend into the atmospheres. Then you got a real taste. And just as you were approaching satisfaction, until you were hand in hand, grasped in the interstices of, <laughs> of space time, you had to unravel yourself from that. And you had to pull yourself back. You had to reel yourself in. You had to come back to descend on Earth and on New York City. So I understand and forgive you that journey. <laughs> We, we, we are here. We, in the collective, we biked, 
we drove cars, we motorcycled, we rode, we paddled. Maybe we rode on horseback. <laughs> we tunneled. Maybe we took the subway. We went under, over, against, with, alongside. We anted through the vertical anthill that we call this university to join here tonight in celebration. And we, 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 we are here. Thank you both and Leona for joining me this evening. Thank you all. Thank you.